Hi there. Today, another session on the Digitone. And um, like yesterday, I'm going to make a loop and record it into Ableton. Um, save the pattern on the Digitone in order to save some time, as opposed to recording every individual track. And to save even more time, I am going to use part of yesterday's pattern a uh, little loop and uh, use it today. So that was C4 um, loop pattern C4. So I can copy that, go to C5, paste it, and now it's the same thing. So Actually, I was wondering whether it would save the mutes. I'm still not completely sure. Let's go back to C4. Now if I reload it. Yeah, it doesn't save the mutes. Anyway, two tracks were muted. Back to C5. Um, mute mode. I'm just going to use this. The other ones I will um, I will erase so we're not in mute mode clear sound it's not clearing the, um, the pattern I guess no, just clear the sound how would you go about clearing the pattern for this, I have to look that up for just one track. So clearing the sound. Okay, that's also useful. You can still do that. Um, clear, clear. Hmm. Guess I need to do it in this mode. Yeah, cleared all the sounds. Now it's a bunch of signs. All we have left is this. Another thing I was wondering is about pitch. Um, this pitch works a little bit differently on this FM synth than it does on a regular, quote unquote, regular synth. Because um, I can change the, the individual operators, the ratios. Uh, I can also offset the ratios, I guess. It says there on page two of synth one. Then here we have the, um, the envelopes for the operators A and B. And then that's some more stuff. <laughs> I really need to dig into the manual to, uh, to find out everything about this thing. Um, then there's detune, harmonics. What I was wondering is if, if there's a dial I can twist to transpose this whole sequence a little bit. And these work with the ratios, right? Um, um, so this one, C. That's a good question. I guess I didn't. Hmm. Ah. So changing C won't do anything because the mix is all um, all uh, coming from B from the X Y. didn't help. <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah, I know why, because I didn't save it. Okay, so back to C4. A little bit clumsy this. Anyway, 
copy c5 paste okay um let's see i'll mute this if we go into this what i can do of course is just get rid of all the steps here and here and now we have just the, the kick let's save that uh, need a new name for it of course but that's not the issue right now okay back to the this sound uh, on this track here track one ratio feedback detune detune i think is a unison thing and it doesn't really well it does change the sound but it doesn't change the pitch per se offset well everything is going out through b not sure whether that's b1 or b2 but here on the on the right side and this is a little bit more complicated than the dig attack i have to admit so b1 or b2 will change the pitch cool variations this is the modulator and the B2 is the carrier but I'm not sure okay well let's let's just go with this and let's make a few more changes so these and these were a little bit different. Let's I'll just, just copy and paste. Maybe leave these out. Or give them a lower volume. What's the volume on these? techno here so we're about tiny variations that are imperceptible to the untrained ear and that makes us look very serious okay anyway i had some different ideas for today and the main thing was to actually get into the synthesis engine which i've already been doing a little bit so i guess if i press this and clear it's cleared the sound and now it's sort of an initialized patch, right? It's just a little uh, sine wave. Okay, so let's start messing with the synthesis engine here. Let's see what we can do. Different algorithms. Let's stay on the first one. Let's just see what happens. Uh, the mix. That's all the way to one side. Let's put that in the middle. So now we get both. Maybe it's a little bit lower octave, two octaves lower. I'm just gonna try some stuff here. Verb, filter. This is pretty sine wave like. I guess there's not a lot of filter down quite yet. We have 
with these other parameters here. Offset. So I think what these do is, well, they offset. So they're not ratios, but they're actually fixed, I think, offsets, amounts, pitch variation amounts. I think that's what they do. And oh, this is sort of cool. Maybe some chorus. Chorus makes all of stuff sound good. This chorus. What more do we have? Maybe some LFO on something. Feedback. Let's just try it. Where is the feedback actually? In this algo B. It's modulating B. Is it actually doing something? Well, it doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot. Ooh. What was that? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh, let's see. Maybe mix. This is the pure sign. Maybe some drive. So what I did there, I recorded a little bit, of course. Um, accidentally hit that one. I pressed uh, record and the play button twice and that gets you quantized recording. So this should be on grid and it's not. So I guess I was already in quantized recording and what happens then is that you go out of quantized recording. I think I, well, anyway, the timing sounds Sounds okay. I think if I were to do this again. Actually, and also I played this note. I meant to play this note, but yeah. Um, yeah, now it says quantized. Did a good job, almost. There's actually nice variation. I not exactly the same thing here. Um, filter, let's, let's try a high pass. Feeling here the second LFO. I'm feeling the LFO. That's awesome. Uh, filter frequency for the high pass. Yes. Speed slow. Depth a little. That's too much. Is some envelope going on? No. Okay, next track. Let's find the hi hats. Just noise. Well, as we're doing synthesis today, let's load just noise and make something out of it. Okay, 16th pattern. Okay, so we need some amp shaping here. This is a full ADSR, I guess. Yeah. Uh, decay time zero. Release. Oh, well, what I'll do is this. Add some decay, but make the release zero and the level, the sustain level zero. There we go. variations in this sound. I'll solo it so you can hear. Subtle variations in the decay length. 
Again, this could do with some filtering. High pass. Something like that. Oh. shorter um, this is one step that bothers me a little bit you know what let's just do it again getting rid of the steps and entering them again um, that um, basically um, erases all the the, the, pr the parameter locking yeah Oh, let's attack. Oh. I think, and if you press this, then it releases, uh, erases stuff as well. Let's see how this goes with the rest. Good enough. Um, we have one track left. Well, that erased the um, the patch here or the sound, but I can do that now. Oh, and by the way, let me just be smart about this and save the pattern. Okay, so another vanilla sign to play with. Let's just select a random algorithm here. The mix is set all to X, but there's also a Y option. Gives us different stuff. Um, let's maybe play with these envelopes. That, that is actually what causes the modulation to happen, these envelopes. Let's make a percussive thingy. Oh, that's already sounding uh, percussive. FM is all about finding the harmonics. And what they've done here with the, um, the digitone is they have made it such that it is prone to um, musical intervals. They're musical intervals. Um, so you can do random dissonant stuff. I think that would be mostly with um, the detune here. But if you just dial these C, A and B knobs, then I guess you get mostly um, musical things. Ooh. Maybe get rid of the feedback here. Everything tastes better with some effects. This takes a lot of space, this uh, synth part here. Maybe just dial the volume back a little bit. could do this make it a pad some sort of background thing um, uh, again the high pass let 
change the tone of reverb. Maybe a little bit of delay. Um, yeah, the envelopes, those were there. Could do this. Here we go. Lengthen these. You get this evolving thing. Oh. Sound design made easy with the Digitone. Even I can do it. Cool stuff. and horror-like sounding, dark and mysterious. Yeah, what we need to do here is maybe lengthen the whole thing. So 32, 32 here, I think that's, yes, let's try it. pages and like two days ago the second page doesn't have all the stuff the first one has that's probably an easy way to fix this I don't know how um. to be an easier way but who cares paste these four copy next page paste copy oh paste of course the only unique thing about different uh, steps here is the automation and I could just record it and it's even opportunity to add a little bit more variation because now I basically have two bars to play with but I'm just going to do it like this for now now on this step um, that one's cool let's just put it on the first trig trig length I think that could be just 32 I think would be the whole thing is that correct let's see Yes, I put it on the wrong page, or did I? It's not a lot happening here. Mm -hmm. I'm on the right track. It's on the second page, yeah. Well, let's go to the first one. Um, the pitch is probably wrong it's not muted or it is muted so. okay, let's change the pitch uh, that'll do for now I'm going to record this into live that's maybe not that interesting um, because I'm not going to do anything else to it really 
Um, so yeah, let's leave it at that for today. Um, quick little session here. Well, I hope it was quick. Um, on the Digitone, doing some uh, some sound design. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you on the next one. Bye bye.